the displacement of a particle is given by this equation, we have to show that it is initially at origin but never returns to origin. So this can be written as, let's take t out, it's 2t square minus 3t plus 42. So we can see initially when t is equal to 0, uh, x is equal to 0. So the particle is initially at origin, that's fine. But for it to be at origin again later, this part has to be 0 as well. There, there has to be a t for which this is 0. So this is a quadratic equation and we can see whether uh, whether this one, if I write this equation, whether this one has any uh, real root. If this one, this quadratic equation has any real root for t, then we know that for those equations this part will be uh, 0 and the, for that t the equation will be 0 and for so the x will also be 0. So whether this one has any real root we can find it by finding the determinant. So let's find the determinant. We know determinant of a quadratic equation is b square minus 4ac. So here b is minus 3 minus 3 square minus 4 into a is 2 and c is 42. So this is 9 minus, uh, this is already 42 uh, times 2 is 84 and then times 4. So whatever it is, this is less than, since there is a negative sign, this is less than 0. Since this is less than 0, we know that the quadratic equation does not have any real root. So this one uh, this this equation does not have any real root so the particle does not return to origin again it only is at origin when t is equal to 0 that is initially and that then we have to show that the particle is never at rest so when the particle is at rest the velocity is 0 so velocity is the differentiation of the displacement so v is dx over dt so that's 2t cube, that is 6t square minus 3t square, so that's 6t plus 42. This, this is the velocity. So again, for the particle to be at rest, there has to be a t when velocity is 0. So this one will be 0. There will be a t for which this equation is, uh, this is 0. So if for this equation, we again have to see if there is any real root. Since we have to prove that there is the particle never is at rest, that means the velocity is never zero. That means this equation, if we can prove that this equation does not have any real root, we actually, uh, in effect, prove that the velocity is never zero. It's never zero. V is not zero. So let's see. We just let's just look at the determinant here, determinant of this equation, and see whether that's uh, less than zero. If that's less than zero, that means the, this equation does not have any real root, so the velocity is never zero because this is v. Okay, so once again, b d is equal to b square minus four ac, and here b is minus six, uh, minus six whole square. And then minus 4 into 6 into 42, right? Yes. So again, we can see this is 36 there. And this is negative and this is already much bigger. We actually don't have to even calculate. We can see that this one is less than 0. So this equation also does not have any real root. And so this, uh, this equation, this velocity is not 0. So this, is, this cannot be 0. That's the thing. For any real value of t, this this equation, this side cannot be 0. That means the velocity is not 0, so the particle does not come to rest at any time. So, yeah, that's how we can uh, show this.